An innocent woman is dead after a crime spree on the southwest side. That spree ended with four suspects crashing into the victim's car as they were being chased by police. Right now, our Jackie Kostek live at CPD headquarters with how this all played out. Jackie? Well, Jim and Marie, police say these four people, all now in custody, carjacked two women, set a pickup truck on fire, and then eventually crashed into a 55-year-old woman's car, killing her. And this all involved a police chase as well. Criminal damage to property just occurred. Um, 3410 South Levitt, 34111. Two unknown offenders were hitting a white truck with unknown objects, then poured gas on top of that truck and fled in the black field. Police scanner traffic from Wednesday night details the moment Chicago police tracked down a group on a wild crime spree. Just before 7 p.m., police say the four carjacked a woman just off of the Stevenson in McKinley Park. Next, they carjacked another woman about two miles north in Pilsen. Then they went back to McKinley Park, where they tried to set a pickup truck they had stolen earlier on fire. That's when the crimes appeared to be connected. Uh, the offenders from earlier, right? It, that, that's what we were thinking. The, the carjack vehicle 12 has is a black vehicle, um, and the other vehicle that was told is stolen from the 12th district is a white. Police say the offenders got away in a black Honda, and that's when the police pursuit appears to begin. Officers trailing the offenders south on Western. Any unit in the area, help them out. How fast are you going? 60 miles an hour, just past 43rd, going southbound. The chase continues to Kedzie and 31st, where police say the offenders crashed into a Toyota driven by an innocent woman. Police were able to take all four people into custody. They say those charges are pending. The victim is a 55-year-old woman named Dominga Flores from Chicago Lawn. She was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where she died. Now, coming up at 6, we'll dig into the department's policy around police chases and what happens next. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Jackie, thank you.